I'm going to wait just a few minutes while that does, and I need to pop over here and do this. There we go. And somebody's here. Hi, y'all. I was popping over into eBay to look and make sure the name of the seller's name. Hi, Blandine. How, am I saying your name right? Blandine or Blandian? So, anyway, um, I have jewelry today. I buy lots on eBay and I am not, uh, I'm not, um, I'm not paranoid about sharing who I buy my lots from because this gal sells a lot of jewelry and there is plenty enough jewelry on eBay for anybody, for all of us. If we all went and bought a lot today, we still wouldn't buy up all the jewelry on eBay. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. I'm sorry. Oh, made me sneeze. So I got this lot. Uh, actually, I got two lots, and I haven't opened one of them yet. So uh, this one I'll open probably tomorrow and uh, share it tomorrow. So one of the things that I like about buying from this gal, and her name is on eBay, is Samantha Graves 2012. And one of the things that I love about buying from her is you don't get junk. There was very little in here that was not wearable. And I'm going to shop, start with the two pieces that are uh, the, hey, Barb, how are you? Hi, Francis, how are you? So anyway, um, so I just shared them with them. This is a lot of jewelry uh, that I bought from Samantha Graves 2012 on eBay. And um, I have bought from her before, so I know that when I buy from her, the things that I'm going to get usually are signed pieces, and there's not a lot of junk. So, took me to the kitchen. Are you cooking something yummy? So, anyway, so uh, um, I'll show you the few pieces that were not wearable, but nearly everything else is wearable. And this is really cool, and it may be cool enough to be repaired. It is a little stretchy bracelet, and it's got... Mm, yeah, I've never had curry chicken. I've never had curry anything. So it's got a uh, little horse's head sitting in pink enamel. But the hi, bougie bear. How are you? April, right? Is that your April? Uh, anyway, and so um, the elastic is all stretched out, but it is, um, it can be fixed. That's you. And then this one was all stretched out too. So, uh, and there was... One single earring in the whole lot. So, no, make that two single here earrings in the whole lot. And this one is silver. It is actually signed 835. So, it's only 83 parts silver. So, it's not sterling, but it is silver. And I did test it. So, and I'm holding it back. Uh, for those that just popped in, hi, Mila. How are you? That just popped in. I bought this on eBay. I paid, let's see, let me pop and see. I paid $28.99 for each lot. And then by the time that she had combined the shipping, and she does combine shipping, um, there was there's two. I haven't opened one of them. I've just opened the other, uh, the first one. Um, but by the time she can't combine shipping, it was like, uh, she charges like seven something for shipping, nearly eight dollars for shipping. So anyway, it was seventy one dollars. So, so I'm get started and show you all this stuff. When I buy from her, nearly everything that I buy is wearable. So those three pieces, four pieces I showed you, two stretchy bracelets that were stretched out, are not wearable without being fixed and two single earrings but one of them was silver so everything else is wearable and most of it is signed so let's get going um this is a man's tie clip 
very nice. Uh, I didn't look at it real close. It does have a signature design on the bottom of it, but I, I don't know who it is. So, oh, these were the other things that they're wearable, but they're kind of gunky. They, they need probably soap in something. The, the, the metal has oxidized on them, but I don't think they're worth soaking. So that's probably, they'll probably get thrown away. This right here is beautiful. It is a bracelet and it is, um, let me unclasp it here. It has, oh, I had it open. Oh, always helps when you take the safeties off, don't it? Uh, it, it slides in, it's a box clasp, and then it has the two safety catches on the side and it's really pretty. Hi, Swag Maven. So anyway, did you? The last few that I've got from him, I've not been as thrilled, but this gal here, Samantha, uh, she really always steps it up, but hers costs like 20, I paid $29 plus nearly $8 to ship it to me. So, uh, so $37, but, but I still, even though the last one that I found for, got from Jean had a lot of mismatched pieces, I still found silver and gold. So anyway, this little bird brooch is really cute. Um, so no signature. And this is really nice, but some of the uh, rhinestones are going bad in it. Y'all see that yellow mark on my finger? I've been testing and I got acid on me. So anyway, it'll just have to wear out. So the the really pretty bracelet no there was no mark on it and there was no mark on either one of these brooches i love this piece right here and it has no mark on it and it's just a pendant but it is so gorgeous i think it's so pretty so it's enamel but it's almost like it's inlaid it, i don't really think it's like closing a for for real but it may be so the, I love the bird brooch. Isn't it sweet? Yeah, it is very sweet. So it is it is very similar to Closin' A, and it may be Closin' A, but I don't see any of the swirls that you normally see in Closin' A. So I think it's just inlaid enamel. So um, anyway, normally Closin' A has swirls, don't it? And this is really cute. It's, it's just a little memory wire, and it it has uh, a cross on the end and then it has uh, a patron saint charm on the other end. So anyway, and this is very, very nice. It's vintage. It's old and it's a belt buckle. The belt goes through there, but it's missing a part of it. But I imagine I could sell this regardless because Somebody could take and slide this over a chain and bend that little hooky down and make them a necklace. So anyway, hey, dads, how are you? So why did you delete your video? I went to watch and it was gone. So this one here is just a little bangle. And I don't know how anybody could get their hand in that. That's so tiny. And there's no latch. And I really thought it might be Monet because Monet makes a lot of these kind of bangles. But it's not outside. This one here is really nice, and it is not signed also. So, yeah, oh, my gosh, I have all kinds of things for crafting. So I just sent Margaret's little boys a whole box of metal parts to uh, play with for their, uh, um, oh, my gosh. Oh. steampunk they're wanting to make steampunk jewelry so i'd watch parts and all kinds of things so anyway so uh look at these are they not gorgeous and no signature they just say patent pending but they're really really pretty so these are the kind of things because i love rhinestones that i have a huge problem with. uh my husband just sneezed in the background. I have a huge problem uh, getting them listed. These are these. These are glass, and uh, they're just clip-on earrings. And those are those ones that some of them had signatures up under them. No signatures, but they're they're classic. What I call a classic piece of jewelry. Uh, 
I guess we're an old lady, but anyway. So, but you know what? I is one of those these days. So, this is really pretty. It's like a maple leaf. Makes me think of Canada. Um, but I don't think it's a true maple leaf. But anyway, gold. That really is distracting to me. I was sure. Okay. The, the necklace is silver and it needs polished up. And then I don't the, I don't believe it's real turquoise. Um, but uh, uh, the, the setting is not right for it to be real turquoise. But it's still pretty. It's really pretty. Bought a Stephen Dweck bangle. It's so tiny I can't believe. Not even sure if you can sell it. So tiny bracelets. I have um, I actually have a bracelet listed on both Etsy and uh, it's cross posted on and eBay. Um, it is a kitty craft, which is made by Marathon Jewelry, and it is a, it's a it's just for children. It's I mean, and it comes in a presentation box and all little pearly earrings. They I won't sell them. This little wishbone. This is was a really popular design, but it's highly magnetic. So. These are really cute. Oops. Um, don't want that to slide off on me. There are there is two of them. I just don't know where the other one went. It's here somewhere. Oh, it's laying right here in front of me. So anyway, those. He doesn't make children's jewelry. So yeah, some people do have little tiny wrists. So isn't the little dog cute? That's a pair of earrings. Um, he's non-magnetic, but he is not silver. Um, but he's really cute. There, there's the pair. So these are really cool. And they have a signature, but I cannot make it out. And I've looked and looked at them. So anyway. And these here. Ooh, these here are Avon. Just little Avon earrings. There's two of them. This is nice. It's just older rhinestones and it's stretch, but it's not elastic stretch. Well, it's those link stretches. What is that called? Can anybody tell me? Is it just link stretch? It's got the metal links in there and they stretch, they're up inside of it. So anyway, yeah, it's really nice. Hey, I've got two Brighton sets that I've got to get listed. I went through jewelry last night and separated out some things that individually list and then I put things I'm separating it where it can all be lauded up um these are nice they're just they'll go in a lot they'll go in a bargain box so these are super long they're just beads beads and they're swinging sorry I love these I may have to wear them a while. Can you see that iridescence in there? So pretty. So pretty. Uh, oh. Wait. I've got something to show you then. I, I remember now that you like turquoise real well. So I'll, I'll show you these. So it's a Thunderbird. And it's got turquoise in it. And this is on a clip thing. And then the other earring, the other part, this part, oops, sorry. This part was, thank you, Rye, Re. Oh, hey, Re, you just come in. Thank you. I actually combed my hair before I got online. So I done good. I've been out and about today. It is so hot today, though. So anyway, so um, I am fairly positive that this is um, turquoise. Just because of the way it's set and so it's missing the clip on earring here so i think i'm going to take it off of that and just put it on some i'm going to find some silver actual real silver um fish hooks and put it on them and more than likely i'm going to keep <laughs> so anyway they're on my keep list and this one i have to clean it up but i'm pretty sure yeah that stuff will come off and it's on my keep list y'all know i have this thing about um about cameos so hey nishana how are you thanks for the everybody giving the thumbs up look at those are those not gorgeous and they're definitely i would say they're definitely vintage because they count 
over 20 years being vintage and I would say they're definitely older than 20 years. Uh, they look like pot metal on the back. So really pretty. The, the rhinestones are really nice. So anyway, so um, and this will stay with me too. Let me get it turned around. It is a cameo bracelet gold, even though I don't much care for gold tone. Yeah, it stays. So a stretchy bracelet and uh, it will go in a inbox. And these are staying with me. They are adorable. So, and they are signed and they are Winnie the Pooh. Is that not cute? There's two of them. And they are Winnie the Pooh. They're so stinking cute. So let it go, let it go. <laughs> oh, Barb, if I could just let a lot of it go, we would be, uh, my room is just a mess right now. I mean, it's just a mess. Uh, just little cheap silver chains. I keep them for pendants that are not just awesomeness. So um, this one is, I really feel like it's vintage. It is also signed Avon. It has a hang tag here that says Avon on it. This one here says uh, NWT. And I'm not sure what NWT is. I'm going to have to look it up. So nine people. Yay. Thanks for you guys being here. I appreciate it so much. This is really pretty. And I'm going to show you the it's they're just plastic beads yeah except for some of them feel glass but most of them are just plastic but look at this look at how it fastens let me get it only okay here's a little leaf and then there's the signature tag which says lci and then it that little leaf slides down into the s hook and and fastens and so it's pretty cool nwt is who lee So, NWT. New with tag. Yeah, except for new with tag, except for that is the signature. It says NWT on the signature. So, I don't think that means new with tag for that. But it is NWT most definitely. So, anyway, this right here is really pretty and and I will put it in my bag back here it's um it's Sarah Coventry and I have seen this in the silver in fact I have sent my friend that collects the Sarah Coventry I've sent her a silver one but this one has a bracelet fastened to it also and WT is when it comes with the yeah with a paper tag usually right but this one is the 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 dangle the hang dangle says NWT on it so Anyway, I have a lot of new with tag stuff because I buy stuff from like, um, I've talked about this, like uh, Saver, uh, not Savers, um, name brand jewelry, name brand, NBC, name brand, half of half. Like this here would be new with tags. Uh, it came from Claire's. Oh, is it, it's another way they market. And then it's got the price back here and uh, it came that I would get, call that new with tag. So anyway, and look, uh, Francis, it's um, it's silver with turquoise color, but it was it was seventeen dollars from Claire's. I bought a uh, and I did not haul it. I bought a mystery bag from a mystery box from Poshmark that had clothes in it and it had six items of clothes and four items of jewelry. And so the four items of jewelry were these two sets, um, that one and that one, and then, which are new, they're brand new, and then two brand new paparazzi um, bracelets. And so I have them set back as thank you gifts to go in Poshmark orders or to go in my uh, bargain box orders. So look at this. This is so pretty, and it has it's no no signature. Um, uh oh, somebody's tweeting at me. So anyway, um, that is just gorgeous. 
the chain is cheapy looking, but the pendant is really pretty. So, so anyway, so I had never seen that with um, with Avon. I've never seen that. This one here is oh, this one here has a little daisy mark on it. So I'm pretty sure it's it's oops a daisy. It has their little daisy flower on it. But they're just nice little pearly looking beads. They're not real pearls and they're not they're not knotted. And then this one here is Monet. And it's they're heavy. And yeah, that it does. It definitely deserves a better pin, chain. But I doubt that pendant makes it anywhere because one of my dear friends that is local, when I take that and show that to her, she's gonna want it. She does the she does she loves that that right there. Hey, is Anita Fanita in the house? Hey, Anita Fanita. I bought something this week. So, anyway, and it's on its way. So, but anyhow, so that one says Monet. It, they're nice, knotted navy beads. I mean, they're just classic beads. So, more than likely, they'll go in a bargain lot. These will probably go in my dollar jewelry sale at my flea market booth. No signature. Look at this chain. I hate holding my arms up like that, but it's so long that even you can't see it across. And uh, anyway, but uh, so it is just a, it's just a beautiful chain. You can, it'll, I mean, it'll go around my head. Okay. Y'all know I don't like to unpack it. It'll go around my head twice. So, and I have like a football player neck. So anyway, so, oh, oh. Thank you, Francis. I did not know that. There is a piece in here that has a sack signature on it. This bracelet, this bangle, it, it has all been up. It looks all been up. But uh, um, I tested it for silver. It's not silver. Um, but it is signed Mexico inside of it. So, not sure what I'm going to do with it. And these right here. These are glass, and they're very nice. So they're nice enough to go in a bargain lot. So anyway, uh, Patricia, are you here? I see 10 people that are here, and sometimes Patricia doesn't chat. Patricia, if you're here, say hi, because I want to show you something, sweetie. Anyway, this is... Um, no signature and it's really it's really nice and I really think that it is Avon just from the design and the structure of it, it looks like Avon Avon actually a lot of people does not realize that Avon actually makes things that are silver and gold and if you go to their website they sometimes have gold filled items but they make a lot of things in silver now this one here is a little weird to me the, they look like amethyst chips and they look like they're on a fishing wire and that came in the box like that. Now there may be some writing on the, uh, it actually looks like the post on the earrings say 925. So I'll have to get them out and test them. So anyway, but I won't sell that. I won't list that. So, you know, one of the bad things about having a football player neck is you always love these little cool, things like that but then you put them on and they choke you that's sticking in the back of my neck it hurts really bad so that's just a i don't know what but if i had a um had a a, a pendant that i could slide on the bottom of that I, well i have all kinds of pendants so i have to find one that matches that style so this right here is really old and it has the look of a coro piece to me coro love to make link what i call link jewelry where i want to open the back of this so you can see the back where each piece is a link and it's connected anyway but there's no signature on this in all the places that normally they put and as you can see there are several pearls missing and the pearls are kind of grody and i'm thinking that it would be okay without the pearls so I'm thinking about taking, in fact, several of the pearls have verdigris around them. I'm thinking about taking the pearls off. So um, what do y'all think? Pearls on, pearls off. 
Yay or nay? There's 11 people here. Or replace all of them. Yeah, I could do that. But they would all have to be replaced. Let's see, I'd need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I could replace nine of them. So I like them off. So I think off two. So, and it still is a, still a very classic design for vintage jewelry. So I can't believe I can't find a signature on it anywhere, but I looked it over pretty good. So anyhow, so, oh, oh, this one here. I think this is really neat. Oops. Oh, that. I think this one is really neat and uh, it, um, they look like, um, these little green ones could be adventuring, but this right here, this, these light, and they are green, they almost look like what's called Vaseline glass, um, the, uh, do you guys know what I mean when I see the Vaseline glass, you want to see the back of that bracelet, Anita, is that what you're asking to see, keep them on, so, even though there's some missing, should I just move them around where maybe, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, I have six of them, maybe move, okay, here's the back of the, here's the back of it, there's just links, okay. need a black light for Vaseline glass, I have a black light app, app on my phone, so, does it glow, Chalcedony glass, Hmm, never heard of that one. That one's a new one for me. What do you think if I take and move the pearls? They're not real pearls. Like I said, some of them have verdigris on them. But if I moved them where they were all, all six of them were in the front. But you know, with the pearls on it, I just don't think it's going to lay nice. So, anyway. I like this. It has uh, no signature, but I like it just because I like uh, I like big jewelry. Chalcedony is a stone. Did they make a faux Chalcedony? You know what? These are these are stone. They're not plastic. They're stone. They are they are cold, but these are stone. And when I pulled this out of the box, it wasn't fastened. It was all just laying out like this. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I picked them up and could feel. Hold on. The pearls are real in them, too. So, anyway, so it's a nice necklace. Whatever it is, I'm thinking whatever it is, the um, these are more than likely adventuring. And I'm not sure about this quartz. But anyway they're really pretty so that's really pretty anyway i like big jewelry this is just a big enamel thing and it is on a no nope, it doesn't have any kind of signature and these here had a signature inside of them and they said Monet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Monet. I can see Monet on there. Yeah, yeah. Monet. Anyway, they're really cool. Just a pair of black clip-on earrings. Oh, there's one of the pearls that go on that. Uh, black clip-on earrings. So, anyway. And... This here is really cute, and it is signed. Oh, my eyes are wanting to not not cooperate. Oh, this one was signed Park Lane, so it's a gold it's a gold bar uh, with a star hanging. Who is it? It's um, where is she? I think she had to leave. It looks like. Um, April like stars. Is that not correct? Am I right? April like stars. So I do like big jewelry. So big stones. I like big stones and I cannot lie. Listen, that song, that movie came out when my boys were little and, and uh, 
I'll be the first to say I sheltered my children very, very much. And so the first time my boys started singing, I like big bucks and I cannot like, I was like horrified. Where did you hear that song? So anyway, so um, that looks like the Holy Mother on the inside. But here's the interesting part. You flip it over and it's got, looks like patron saints on the outside, bougie stars. She, April, she likes, yeah, bougie April. She likes uh, stars. So she was here just a minute ago, but I, I guess she had to leave. Oh, wow, there's 13 people here. So anyway, so um, that that's really pretty. Um, there's There were several pieces of, of religious jewelry in here. And, and I save it, and I haven't ever done anything with it. Rosary, nice cross, rosary, pretty blue beads. I have a beautiful one that has beautiful lapis colored beads. And uh, it's really pretty. This is the other piece that was signed sack. S-A-Q, yeah, this one was signed SAG, so it's pretty, let's see, that that one is not messed up, it just wants to be contrary and then hang backwards, and I may have to take it off and re-put it back on the thing, because it does not want to turn anyway, huh. obviously it came off and somebody put it on backwards, anyway, rosaries, yeah, I have several rosaries, so anyway, Hi, Veronica. And this piece right here, I saved it for last because um, it's really cool. And I'm just pretty sure that that may be red turquoise inlaid in that. Anyway, it's shaped like an apple or a cherry, but I think it's an apple. And it is, it is silver. It, um, uh, has a barrel class and it does test for silver silver what was your question about rosaries you have your grandmother's rosary i was given it when i made confirmation so well i'm not a catholic and so i don't know a lot about rosaries so but i um have that and i um i i just keep them because i don't I haven't ever lauded any up and tried to sell them. So this this one here has the cross and then it has the little colored picture of Mary and the baby Jesus and then has just little blue plastic. So anyway, but then that medallion. So you have a few for sale. So dyed halite. You think that is dyed halite in there instead of red turquoise? There's no way to tell. It could even be enamel in there. But see, it has these little coral looking beads in it. Um, and it's silver. And it's really tarnished. So you're making one on your video. Uh, you're making a rosary on your video. Cool. So that's really cool. So, uh, That is all I have in that lot. Tomorrow I will have this other lot. And I'm, I don't, I'm not in, I don't even know this girl that I buy this stuff from, but um, I paid $28.99 plus $8 shipping. I bought two of them. I haven't bought, I haven't opened this one yet. And uh, her name is Samantha Graves, 2012 on ebay and she uh, sells really nice pieces of jewelry everything that i've ever got from her and i think this is the fourth or fifth lot i've bought from her i've never been upset now the um i like gene 1220 he's one of my favorite buy people because he's very thorough in what he does and all that but I don't like that he doesn't take good pictures. And uh, I also don't like that um, he started being a little more junky. But there's, I've always found gold or silver in it. So I can't complain. And the last lot I got from uh, Swag, I don't know how much you paid for the lot that you got. But the last lot I bought from him, I won an auction and I only paid six fifty for it. So it was $13. $13 so, so... Anita. Okay, so so I want to show y'all this right here. This
This is a, um, it's vintage, it is a brooch and it is signed and it has, um, it has the original hang tag from when it, it was marked down all the way down to nine, $9.99. It was originally $42 and it's Les Bernard. And uh, my friend that owns the, uh, that runs the flea market where I have my booth, it was in one of her jewelry lots and I brought it home to sell on eBay for her because she doesn't sell on eBay. So um, we'll see. I have one other piece listed for her too that hasn't sold yet. She finds some really good stuff, but, and then I want to show y'all one other thing. So I think I've showed y'all this before. It's in a Whiting Davis box, but it is not Whiting Davis. This came out of, uh, oh, I know. It came out of, I have a friend that lives in uh, in uh, Pennsylvania that does auctions, and she's an eBay seller. She sells toys, and so when she goes to lot, auctions and she buys a box lots and they have jewelry, she saves it and sends it to me, or she has in the past. Anyway, look at that. It's a... Um, this is a brooch and this is the earring and they are screw on and there's no signature at all on them but they're really really pretty really pretty so anyhow but uh um really nice so so anyway so i appreciate you guys all being here uh the time is 36 nearly 37 minutes and so i like to keep them under 40 45 minutes so that they're not too long. So anyway, so which seller did I get my lots from? Okay, I, I'm going to give you a list of some sellers that I use. This lot came from Samantha Graves, 2012 is her name. Um, I also buy from Gene1220. That's his username. And I also buy from a lady, and her name is H-O-R-T underscore p-e-g-g -G. her name is peg horton but it's hort peg is her username those are three of the ones that i buy can repeatedly from i buy from them repeatedly there's also a lady called uh, cottage in the cove i believe is her username and i have bought from her she has some nice lots but she doesn't always put up lots so Hey Angie, how are you? You're mi you you missed us. We're right at the very end. I'm just telling them some of the people that I buy lots from. So, anyway, so um, but I this was a great lot. I mean, seriously, it was a one of these boxes. They weighed a couple of pounds each, and four pieces of jewelry was not usable in it. I mean, this one, it's vintage. And there's missing some pearls, but even after I take the pearls off, it's still wearable. And I think it's still sellable. I probably will put it up on Etsy. Hey, Angie, are you still there? So listen, before I go, I wanna, I'm want i going to open this and show you. This, to me, has a real Coro feel, but I can't find a signature on it. But it is a link bracelet. It has these pearls, but it's missing one two three pearls there's one in the basket so it's actually just missing two but some of the pearls have verdigris in them so i'm thinking of taking the pearls off and you can see see that link style uh is what makes me think now i probably more than likely i probably have you know what i could do i can take these off Take the pearls off and clean around the openings. Put new findings on them because I have these kind of findings and hook them. And I bet I have that size pearl. I have a whole jar full of pearls. So I may do that. If I do that, I'll show them to y'all. Show it to you again. So anyway, so I may put it up on Etsy. I don't know. So I don't. Hi, Darlene. How are you? I don't usually list too much on etsy jewelry wise i think i have one piece of jewelry there but i need to start diversifying so and if you guys are in uh, texas gal treasures you know that i explained this but i'm trying out i'm doing really good i am trying out a um the facebook promotions do you guys uh i don't know if you have like a page other than your 
your private page. But see, I have a page that's called Cindy Loves Jewelry. And I do Facebook promotions on there where I promote pictures of my flea market booths. Well, this time I created a picture of some things that I have for sale in my eBay store. And I put my eBay address on it and I bought uh, seven days of sponsored posts. So everybody that lives in Arkansas, well, not everybody, but people who live in Arkansas, as they're surfing Facebook, a sponsored post will come up and it'll show that picture of my Facebook of my eBay store. So I paid $20 for seven days. I have the potential to reach nearly 2 million people. And so I'm anxious to see if it's going to relate in sales. Um, I've already had quite a few people view it. So uh, I listen, this is one of the things that I do outside of my jewelry. I help promote books for an author that i worked for for seven i mean six years and so we use facebook a lot and so when facebook started offering free advertising i jumped on it and so i've done every time i've opened a new booth i've done it and it helps it draws people into the flea market booth so uh right now though one of my flea market booths is really hot i do use pinterest i use pinterest a lot in fact i um I actually have uh, several Pinterest boards that I that I pin to. I do all the sharing on Poshmark. I also tweet my jewelry on because I have a pretty I have a, a Twitter account. So um, anyway, so uh, but yeah, I I use Poshmark. I'm trying to use Instagram more. Um, I'm not real Instagram friendly. You hate Pinterest. Why do you hate Pinterest, Barb? Is it because you don't like using it or is it because it sucks you in and you want to look at everything that's there? That's why I don't. I mean, literally, when I use Pinterest, I go and pin it and I leave. I do not hang around and look because I can spend hours at all that. So anyway, so yeah, I have Cindy Loves Jewelry. It's a jewelry page. It's not a group. It is just a page I post pictures of things in my booths. I post pictures of jewelry I'm selling, links to jewelry I'm selling, and um, yeah, bad for research. I do not use Pinterest at all for research. I do not. So um, when I am doing research, I usually describe my item as well as I can into Google, and I see what Google pulls up, but I don't click on Pinterest pages because a lot of times all they are is pictures um i um do um yeah they i mean because most of the time they won't tell you any kind of a price so i uh, um yeah google sends you to pinterest but also google gives you links to etsy and ebay and i'll go look at those links but Somebody was talking about this in a chat yesterday, and if you were one of the people that were talking about this, I'm sorry if I don't give you credit, but I watched so many people, and I'm not real sure which one it was, but they were talking about, I use, let me pull my phone up, pull my phone over here. I'm sure that all of you have smartphones, or most of you have smartphones, and you have the eBay app. I have the eBay app here. And so when I pull up eBay and I want to push the search button and I'm trying to do that right now, when I push the search button, you see it comes up a place for me to type, but it also comes up with, up with a little camera. And I've been using that little camera for years to do bar, can, bar code scans and it, it pops up, but it also says image and you can take a picture there and it will search by your picture to see what if it can match it as close as it can. So anyway, so that is a real good research tool because you can, that way you can match to eBay as close as you can. So anyway, uh, oh, okay. So I have to check my voicemails. So I just noticed I had a missed call. So anyway, but uh, I'm about to 45 minutes. I wanna say bye. Uh, Rewatch, please leave a thumbs up and thanks to everybody who came today. I'm so happy. Yes, wait, 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 wait. Okay, 
hold on, Angie. I'm not leaving yet because I don't want to leave you hanging. Okay. Okay. Look, uh, let me go back one. Okay. So I'm here. Okay. The last search that I done was for a bear claw pendant. I, I have a bear claw pendant anyway, but if you click this camera, when you're in eBay searching, if you click that camera, when it pops up down here, it says image search or it says barcode scan. So you can hit barcode scan and scan the barcode on anything, any kind of product that has a barcode on it. Now that don't mean it'll always find it, but um, if you hit image, you can hit image search and you can actually either take a picture or you can pull it. You can take a picture or you can pull a picture up from your phone and do that. And then it'll search. It'll search the um, eBay. So, yes, I'm in eBay app. It's an eBay app for my smartphone. So, so it is very, it will be very, very handy. Let's just see. Okay, let's try it out. Let's, I mean, I've never tried it out. Okay, so I have this sweet Mother of Jesus pendant, and I'm going to, we're going to capture this image with my camera, and I'm going to, here, I'm going to lay her down right here. We're going to lay her down right there. Okay, I took the picture. I'm done. Now, it wants me to crop it, so I'm going to crop it. Nope, go back. That search it so and it's asking okay so now that i've searched it it's bringing up all kinds of virgin mary pendants so oh i should i should nishana thank you you are so brilliant so listen sometimes i am so forgetful my mind just wanders around it's like Trying to find a fast checkout and there's not even a checkout open. So anyway, I'm a little squirrely brain. Ooh, I hope you know, that, that you guys didn't see that. So on my end, I just popped my camera up and down. I mean, my my uh, my screen just popped everywhere. So, but that is so cool. That is really, 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 really cool. So now I I do not ever list with my phone. Um, I take, I, I go and take a bunch of pictures. Like I'll take four or five items over there. I'll take a bunch of pictures of them. And then I save them to my Google, basically Google cloud, but my Google, Google backup. And uh, then I come in, download them into my computer and I do, um, do that. And uh, then I, I edit them in my computer. So we're going to do image search. We're going to take a new photo. We're going to, and it always wants to know if you want to take it with, okay, here we go. Okay, I'm done. Uh, let's just hit search. Oh. Huh. Well, it didn't. It pulled up puka shell stuff. Those do not look like puka shells, but it pulled up a <clears throat> micro Indonesian belt, which was very interesting. So, anyway, that's shaped a lot like it. So, uh, it's very, very, very neat thing. So, 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 oh. I wish we would get rain here. It, it thundered and carried on last night, but it never rained. So anyway, but this time for sure, I'm going to, you're, you're welcome, Angie. I am going to say bye and uh, only not with the pieces message. Yeah, I took it. I mean, I got it right down on the pattern. So, so yeah, thanks. Thanks, Ree. Yeah, please leave a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, Hit the subscription button and the bell so you'll know when I go live. So thanks, Rhea. I appreciate it. Bye, Barb. Thanks, everybody, for being here. And I'm so thrilled. So bye-bye.